Hello guys, YouTubers, Accuracy, uh, Merry Christmas. Um, just got the latest update uh, for my system from the manufacturer um, yesterday and I installed it today just now. Um, a quick note, um, a lot of people are asking a lot of questions out there. I try to do the best I can. Hopefully this video answers some of them. Um, uh, right now I have it set up on low for the temperature itself uh, quick note is the uh, reminder China and Europe everything is on Celsius is not accurate the translations and degrees into Fahrenheit um, so they did everything on Celsius so without further ado uh, one of the things is on low right now and low on the top so once you click one time it's gonna go to 18 Celsius and it's still gonna say slow on the top. Then after that, 19 and 19, it's gonna show over there. Uh, as, as you click forward, all the way up, uh, you see it changing on the top. When I click on the screen, now right here on 26, once you click one more to the 27 this is when it's gonna start getting a little bit warmer not much but it's just gonna change start changing from cold to warm as you go higher it's gonna keep getting warmer and then once you get to 30 you're gonna start feeling the hot air real good 31 is the last setting before it goes to completely high so now on the height then you're gonna start feeling the heat real good I know those, those people out there on the East Coast probably wants to keep everything on high especially uh, upstate um, then from high it goes right back down to 31 and it keeps going lower and it shows on the top again 27 is the last warm air after 27 and below it's gonna start getting colder all right and again 19 one more is gonna show 18 but it's gonna show low on the top and then one more it completely low and trust me this new low is completely freezing you know settings uh, you can see the fan, everything working, modules, all right. And it's all there. All right, now for the buttons itself, the only glitch I have right now for uh, the new update is the buttons the hard buttons is a little bit harder to press uh, also when I have it set up in high let me go all the way there all right when I have it set up in high and I press call the first time it's gonna change to low but it still says high and change it again and it goes to 31 uh, so it's just a little software glitch. But after that, you can change and it goes normal. All right. Um, one of the things uh, I asked the manufacturer was that if this update that I'm receiving is shareable, meaning if I can send it to you guys, uh, they say I can, however, it only applies to the a core intel processor because this is the unit that i order and this is the the unit that i've been doing the testing um and uh they started manufacturing the ones with the a core intel processor um after november 1st so guys i know it, this is not the cheapest thing out there um compared to our system uh, especially OEM but keep in mind just like I, I answered uh, to some of y'all our systems 
you know, they are very outdated. You know, um, you have to, for once, you have to, if you want to keep relevant with the current map, you have to buy the, the DVD. Uh, then you have most DVD uh, drives are going out. And if you pay three, if $350 to get it refurbished, and then you go out again, and then I don't know how long the warranty of that is. Or keep buying a used one for two hundred. If if you do a little refurbish for three fifty, I mean you lay like literally almost there to the price of this. Uh, if you buy two DVD drives, you already paying the cost of this system. So I mean it's up to you guys. Again, this is the the. Four gigabytes of memory and 64 gigabytes of uh, ROM uh, space that you can, you know, music, videos, or whatever. I mean, 64 gigabytes is, is more than enough. Um, yes, you can attach attach a subwoofer in the back. You can uh, put your hard drive, SD uh, uh, SD card, a nice car, USB flash uh, drive. Um, I mean, there's so much things you can do with this. I mean, you will always have free Google Maps, uh, internet, you know, uh, 4G LTE. Uh, if you have the same car, uh, you know. Um, I mean, guys, this, this is, you know, I'm, I'm not trying to advertise for the manufacturer. I'm just saying my opinions, okay, the, the reasons why I think this is worth it I mean four five hundred bucks and you know the seller is pretty clear that as long as they're on business they will give you support you know as long as you buy from Navitech uh, resellers will not give you that I mean it I don't know about you guys but I would like to have support for my stuff I mean how many of us wants to get the the goodwill uh, warranty from Acura which hey you know what they're gonna tell you heck no or you ran out of mileage or whatever so as long as they're on business and you own the system you will have technical support from them um, so far they've been you know really nice about it and, uh, and straightforward and honest with me so uh, it's up to you guys you guys make your choice you know uh, Again, Merry Christmas. I'll keep you guys posted if anything. Don't hesitate to ask questions. Don't forget to subscribe. Help me out. And uh, God bless.